With this short video, our aim is to explain in plain language what p-values are, what are they useful for, and how to interpret the message they deliver. All the range from the junior to the most experienced researchers trust on p-values in order to estimate the credibility of their findings as an absolutely true. Rarely do they know the underlying true meaning of it, and most importantly, this makes their confidence on p-values being even sickly. In a world where decisions must be taken and clear, straightforward answers are required, having such an indicator saying above or below which things happen is very comfortable and reassuring. Few know the occult problems of using p-values as the sole marker for a data analysis interpretation and the misleading conclusions that they may cause. Some recent papers illustrate these points magnificently, finger pointing the wrong use and interpretation of p-values and educating about the right way to do these things. The American Statistical Association and others have remarked the risk of the wrong use and interpretation of p-values. Briefly speaking, they say that the validity of scientific conclusions, including their reproducibility, depends on more than merely the statistical methods themselves. Interestingly and frequently misunderstood, P is not the probability of a specific hypothesis being true. It is an estimation about how much can you trust on the differences observed from a dataset that also will depend on other methodological aspects. And most importantly, scientific conclusions should never be based uniquely on a p-value and an agreed threshold. Results should be considered within context in order to make the right inferences, frequently to establish a cause and effect relationship. Things like the design of the study, reliability of measurements, external evidences, the effect size, confidence intervals, and mainly the clinical relevance of the results, which is not usually related only with p-value, should be considered when interpreting the results, learning and drawing conclusions. Many researchers tend to confound statistical significance, which means that a seen difference is unlikely to be caused by chance, with clinical significance, namely the observed difference is big enough to have clinical importance. To add confusion to this, note that the more things you analyze, the higher the probability of finding at least one statistically significant result without it being true, which is the so-called type 1 error. This invites researchers to torture data until they confess. It's a kind of significance chasing. This is the so-called p-hacking, just to feel the research was worthwhile and led somewhere important. All these facts and reflections are in agreement with the idea that the overall use of p-values in science should be somehow changed and adapt, either by putting its interpretation within a wider context or by migrating to different approaches such as Bayesian statistics, as some of the most renowned scientific journals, like for instance New England Journal of, of Medicine, are now recommending.